Hello students, I am a production engineer in the manufacturing industry and I have two and a half years of working experience with Microsoft Excel by analyzing of production data and energy data in the company. Therefore, I would like to share my knowledge and experience about use of Microsoft Excel with you. In this course, you will be able to learn how to use Microsoft Excel in an office or production environment to analysis or record data by using the tool provided in Excel. Let's see course contents of this course. Refresh basics, data consolidations, charts, protection, pivot tables, VLOOKUPs and most common keyboard shortcuts. Let's see refresh basics. Under refresh basics you will learn what is the active cell and importance of the active cell with v when we are using Excel. The active cell is most important because when a range of cell is used to apply a rule or formula we consider the active cell. How to use Excel referencing system according to your requirement? Relative system, mixed system, absolute system. In the Excel, there are three types of referencing system provided and we are discussing each of these referencing system by giving the example for you to easily understand. How to use function provided in Excel as an example if function. If function is a logical function and is used to perform some action depending on condition. This is the if function and this is the format of the if function. And I have used this if function in the Excel sheet to show you the application of if function. And how to format in numbers, dates and times. When we consider about the number formatting, you can use hash or zero symbols to format numbers. Here I have used zero formats the number. This, when, this is the for, fortifier and it, it was formatted in different type of format. This is the one type of format and this is the another type and this is the another type. But this format was done by using zero. Same like that. We have used hash sign also to format the number. This number formatting is clearly explained by giving the example in the lecture series. Let's see how to format the date in this in the Excel. This is one of the examples that I have been provided in this lecture series and uh, how to format your data by using these letters that mean Y letter for year and the M letter for month and D letter for the dates by using these three three letters you can format it your date according to your requirement those things has been clearly explained by taking the practical examples in the lecture a time formatting when we consider about the time formatting time formatting can be used by using H letter M letter and S letter S letter for second M letter for minutes H letter for hours by using these three letters we can format it your time according to your requirement that is also has been clearly explained in the course by providing the example in the Excel sheet data consolidation this will allow you to gather together your data from separate worksheet into a single worksheet. In other words, the data consolidation function takes data from a series of worksheet or workbook and summarize it into a single worksheet. And this data consolidation option in the Excel has been clearly explained by taking the practical example on the Excel sheet. Once you follow that lecture, you will be able to do data consolidation very easily with the Excel. And the charts, when you consider about the chart in the Excel, bar charts, 
line charts and the pie charts these three charts were clearly explained how to make and uh, add the uh, options into these charts as an as an example bar chart this is the one of the bar chart that i have been explained in this lecture for you to easily understand these bar charts were completely made inside this lecture series and this is the one of the line chart that has been made inside this lecture uh, and this is the pie chart that has been made inside this lecture once you follow this lecture series you will be able to make this type of chart very easily protection when it comes to protection here we can consider about the workbook protection and the worksheet protection and allow user to edit range these things can be done by applying the password for your workbook or worksheet or into a range these things were clearly explained in the excel sheet uh, please go through the content for get more information about this pivot table pivot table is one of the best tool provided in excel to analyze the data in easy way use of pivot table has been clearly explained in this course by taking the example for you to easily understand pivot table is the shortcut provided in excel for you to easily summarize the data and these things were clearly explained by taking the excel sheet examples and this is the one of the example that i given in the course contents vlookup vlookup function provided in excel to look up data in a table organized vertically this has been also explained by taking the practical example which is related to the production keyboard shortcuts in here there are few keyboard shortcut i have been allocated uh, down cell if you want to down one cell you can press enter and uh, if you want to down one screen you can press page down likewise there are several keyboard shortcut has been given in here please go through the course content to get the knowledge about microsoft excel 2013 thank you